Hello friends, in this video today I will talk about how to install Tesla wall connector, the charger for the Tesla battery operated car. So let's look into that. Before that, if you have not worked with electrical wires before or if you are not comfortable, please get this task done with some professional. Otherwise, this is very simple if you know some basics about the wiring. So this is the Tesla wall connector generation 3 charger it cost around 475 dollars plus some tax this charger looks very good you can see this is a charger it comes with about 24 feet long cable so you can park your car either way the charger doesn't need to be installed on the side where the charging port is on your car it comes with all uh, required screws and uh, back panel this is my garage wall, this is circuit breaker. In this circuit breaker, I will put a new breaker here for this charger. And I'm planning to install the charger on this wall, somewhere here on this wall. And I want to run the cable behind the wall, so nothing would be visible outside. So I'll run cable behind this wall. It will go through the attic and will come down from the attic to this side of the wall where I will install the charger so this is the cable I bought to connect the charger to the circuit breaker it's a six case wire with ground it cost around seven dollar fifty cents per foot so measure how long cable do you need and you can buy appropriately and this is the 60 amp breaker I bought to put the breaker in the circuit breaker so make sure you buy the uh, breaker for the brand of the circuit breaker you have otherwise it won't fit in your breaker and make sure you have uh, two empty slots to put this breaker switch in in your circuit breaker so these are the two things i bought along with the charger and we are ready to install so what i wanted to do is run the cable behind the walls but i had two two by four blocks and which was very hard to uh, hole in from the attic so i did a hole from the ceiling and the cable would come through that hole and would go back in the wall from this hole where i'm uh, drilling right now so only that part of the cable would be visible outside and that will be covered in the pvc pipe so not actual cable would be visible this is the PVC pipe I am planning to put uh, here and cable would run through that pipe in the wall and would come down the wall where I want to mount my charger on the wall so I'm trying to insert this charging cable <coughs> from the attic to through the ceiling and in the wall so let's try how it goes this cable is pretty thick cable and it is very hard to bend so it requires some efforts to play with this cable so cable is coming down here and from here I will pull the cable a little bit down and then I will put the PC pipe um, around this cable so my cable won't be visible outside so once I have enough of my cable out from the ceiling I will try to put the cable through the PVC pipe and this is the 90 degree PVC pipe elbow and I'm measuring the hole here like how big the hole should be so um, the pipe can fit in the hole and everything will look good after once everything is done so digging the hole here and it's, it's a, a sheet drop so it's very easy to cut the hole here and behind the sheet drop there is actually plywood which helps me to put the screw in so my hole in the wall is ready and I am doing another hole down here in the wall through which the cable would come out and that cable I would connect in my charger's back panel and mount that back panel in the wall actually first time here I hit the stud behind so I had to do another hole next to it so you make sure uh, measure your wall and make sure there is no stud behind it so now both holes are ready i am running my cable through that pvc pipe and again this cable is very hard to work with 
uh, it's very hard to find so it took some time for me to run the cable through the PVC pipe that 90 degree elbow but eventually I did it so once uh, this is done I will put this pipe PVC pipe there in the ceiling and against the wall and running the cable through that hole now and hoping that cable would come out through the another hole down there which you can see my pipe is there it's ready and i have a cable also ready to connect to my uh, chargers back panel i did a hole on the chargers back panel through which i'm running this cable and this uh, back panel i will mount here on the wall using the given screws and the wiring is very easy it's a ground live and neutral as you can see here and the, the line and the neutral cable, the order does not matter. Make sure you connect the ground to the ground port, and then neutral and live can either go first or second. That order really does not matter here. I'm tightening the cable using the jeep tie, and now after all connections are done, I'm mounting that back panel of the charger in the wall here. So I'm almost done mounting the panel in the wall my cable is also connected to the charger you can see here it's pretty simple wiring ground and then live and then neutral again this red and black cable order does not matter here so this end of the charger is done now next task is to run the cable through the attic and through the circuit breaker and then connect wire in the breaker and put the breaker in the circuit breaker here so I am opening the circuit breaker now. This is the first time I am opening the circuit breaker. Again, if you are comfortable, this is not that hard. But if you are not comfortable, please get this task done using the proper steps. So in the circuit breaker, you would see many switches here and so many wires. But there is nothing to be scared of here. This is my attic. From attic, you see this big thick cable which is power coming from outside from the electrical company. That cable goes from attic to the circuit breaker, and inside the circuit breaker, it is giving power to all the switches. So, what I have to do is I have to work with this small tiny hole here, insert my charger's cable through this hole, and expect it to come out from the circuit breaker down there. So this task was little uh, tedious and it was not easy to do but I had to spend some time on it with some trick and eventually I was able to pull this my charger cable. You see I'm inserting the cable from the wall and here it came out from the circuit breaker. So now I have other end of the cable here in the circuit breaker. So now I have to connect switch. The breaker switch to this cable and put the switch here in the circuit breaker so before you do that make sure you turn off the power of your home from this main shut off switch which should be usually um, outside of your home on the side wall so i'm turning that off so now there is no power coming in in my circuit breaker So I'm going back in here, so in my circuit breaker, that cable I'm just running behind the other wire, so it would not uh, mess anything else. And once I have that cable properly inserted, I will strip that live and the neutral cable and the ground cable, I will connect to the uh, switch. So I have my cable here, and uh, I'm, I'm stripping the live cable now and then i should keep the other neutral cable and then put cables i have to connect to the breaker switch which is pretty easy and again the order of this red and black wire the neutral and the live does not matter here you can put red or black either uh, holes of the uh, breaker switch here So, I have to connect these two wires here in the breaker switch. So, once it is put inside properly, screw it, tighten it, and then put the switch on the, your circuit breaker like this. Just snap it in and 
it's it's good there and that is a ground cable i have to connect to the one of the ground connection in the breaker and you can see there are many over there the left or right side both so i have connected my ground my live and my neutral so all my wiring is done i'm turning the switch on i already have turned on the power from the outside and even voltage detector i'm testing i'm getting the power here so my charger is ready with the power i'm putting the charger on top of that panel and i will screw them in so it will secure that and my charger is now ready with the power and ready to charge the tesla 